Okay, so uh, July 5th extracurricular. Uh, sorry. I didn't say July. Yeah, June. June. June 5th, yes. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm hoping this will actually be our last meeting and we can forward a couple of recommendations. So, um, uh, you know, obviously our. our Two items, I think, and, and us, you know, add some some things we need to tackle are, you know, what do we what do we charge for fees, and um, you know, so and, and what kind of really we should hash out the the parameters for uh, uh, our fundraising activities. I think I know we, we've talked about it, uh, but we can we can nail that down. Uh, I also did send. A, uh, I was curious. I was trying to get a handle on that last time we. Uh, Kind of brought up sports, and we kind of said, "Okay, I know the boosters do fund uh, a few of the uh, band positions over there." And I was just trying to get a handle on whether they were they were there at, uh, always or not, or whether they were cut. But and, and so you guys are trying to find that out, I think. Well, I, I just handed you something that um, what we paid out since 2013 okay. in stipends. Um, and I know from Mr. Wolf talking to him this week, he gets 46 credits for marching band stipends. Uh, and he said each credit equates about $200, just out of the district budget. So what the booster has been doing is supplementing with the additional staff okay. through the stipends. And then that, that's, that's Sounds like that's been going on for a, a while. Is that what I'm kind of gathering? Going on for a while. Okay. So, so you, you, did you guys absorb any any cuts back when we tackled the uh, sports? This has always been quo for us. As okay. Far as so, so, so really, what hit was the fee, the fee is what is what hit the band. That's what hit. Um, but really, there wasn't. Any cuts per se was really. I don't think anything. Yeah. Just the, obviously, he cut the fact that it was extra I mean, right. uh, sorry, uh, co co yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. And as far as the, some of the tax, as far as paying. Okay. I, I did. Uh, did you um, find out if if uniforms were requested or not? Uh, the band uniforms, they said that they were, the booster, boosters said that they weren't supposed to be paid for those sort of things. They had started doing, they price quote with somebody, and the boosters came back and said they shouldn't be paying for it, so they quit investigating that. It's the email that I got from the band person. So they did not move forward? They did move forward. So was there a request at all? See, I mean, those uniforms are going on. I think we had requested the director to go forth to put some kind of development plan as far as what the what the new uniform would look like. Okay, so so developing it in the fall for the following budget is that what we're? They said the total cost of the new uniforms for Daniel Boone would be somewhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars, pending design materials, etc. Um, he says he doesn't think that the boosters planned on it since they were unsure how the cost would be split, and they never they didn't hear anything back. He said that he can certainly get the information and move forward with it. It's a definitely needed because it's the 12th year in use, and the average use is 10 years. So they're going who, on 10. who brought that forward? Is that, um, is that from Mr. Wolf? Yes. Okay, that sounds like it. <laughs> so, so, so out of that, we had a, a brief discussion at one board meeting where we mentioned about uniforms. You said, well, certain things in districts should should be responsible for. Now, going forward, we, we had uh, looked at the design. I, I don't think we were all on the same page of the design that was presented to us, so we sort of just, we don't want to rush into it. We did, the boosters did uh, have a motion, we did pass that we had, we do have funds set aside to help with the purchase. So we set a, a number of around $9,000 that is set aside for the boosters to put forth uh, so far for the uniforms. All right, so okay. we'll be beginning the 18-19 budget in November, October, giving direction to come forward with the okay. plan and the numbers. 
and design. The whole development phase. I think we have a, we had a obviously there's a, there's a cost per unit, and as far as the the, the the quantity of uniforms, I think we're trying around 100. We're trying about 100, based on the growing numbers of the band now. I think we're up to 83 for this season coming up. Um, we're basically Mr. Wolf has to go back to the drawing board with this uniform and get something that's um, it's going to last the test of time. Nothing. Well, whatever you guys have now, <laughs> get, get the same thing. <laughs> These are marching band units. Yeah, sometimes they. Well, there, there, was some, and Mark. there was some draft designs he brought forth that really just, <clears throat> you want something for 10 years, so you don't want to rush into it. I, it didn't really justify the cost to order what he had in front, and not saying anything bad, but it just... But I guess you don't want something that in five years is going to look totally stupid right. because it's now completely... Now, now it's yeah. fast. Right. You, Pretty yeah. much what we have now is still... That's a classic. Yeah. I was gonna say I would never know that that's twelve years old. Yeah, it's a general design. There is one that is presented that re resembles the current design, and it really hit me that I did like that. But there again, you don't want something five years from now that just isn't it's out of stock. Okay. But, all right. So so all right. So we don't need to worry about that for for right now. Not be next year. Mr. Rothman, can I interrupt for a second? Sure. Can we do that for the honor record? Sorry? Can we do roll call for the audio record? Oh, sure. Uh, Mayor Kowalski. Lawrence Small. Kathy Haynes. Carol Bites. Pastor McKnight. Jenny Berkshire. Laurel Reno. Tony Basilico. Scott Potts. David Rathke. Thank you. You're welcome. All here. Okay. All right, so. Um, that is, I mean, that is something yep. that the, the board and two people might. I mean, that's, that's pretty big expense. Right. We're going to have to replace that. Well, and that's why, you know, obviously you want to throw it out there. So obviously that's we, why we can design yeah. it, put it forth, and if, if it's adopted, fine. If not, then, then you know, we're going to keep, the, the boosters will keep going forward to collect funds. And I mean, if, okay. you, if you look at the longevity of them, I mean, really, the, the price, but, but it's, it's that one, that's that one. Uh, it could be a budget item at $5,000 a year. Is there, is there a way to, to finance them? <laughs> to what? To finance them. Spread, spread the uh, manufacturer yeah, over uh, for every 10 well, years. Three, I think I, I asked that, and, and that budgeting, what they call budgeting, is uh, you order them in January, but you have to pay for them by July. <laughs> that's not so that's their financing. <laughs> okay. So. Right. Got I was it. saying to Kathy, before we went down, there's a lot of districts that are thinking they're holding the forms and having to repurpose mm -hmm. the fundraisers to form stadium pushing the right. road. I know the uniforms okay. prior to this, which the superintendent had uh, orchestrated, that this, these uniforms, we donated those to a, a school down in Mississippi that was from, from flooding. But obviously, you might want to take these uniforms we discussed and maybe repurpose some of them, but then again, then it's a smaller quantity, maybe to say to the middle school band and have them get more involved, say, as parades and things like that. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so uh, I think everybody should have um, a printout. Uh, basically, I asked Mr. Small to um, uh, take our total, our population seven through twelve, and uh, factor in our free and reduced lunch, um, and then take into account also what we raised uh, last year. And I'm told that. The total collected, uh, if you look on that uh, 16, 17 total collected at 150, um, but that, that includes sports and club fees, correct? Correct. So that's the whole, that's the whole enchilada uh, that we collected uh, last year, so, uh, or I guess this year. Um, so if you take that number and if we're trying to achieve a equilibrium in the per se as to what we're going to uh, collect across the board, and if you factor in uh, what Mr. Small did was he removed the folks that are on free lunch, and uh, as you can see, uh, reduced would be a reduction of, uh, what, 82% from the, uh, the fee? Uh, so they would pay an 18% fee uh, if we chose to, to, to do that. So it roughly equates to about $90 uh, 
uh, per student. Um, and we had also discussed uh, making seventh and eighth a lower fee uh, due to the lower, less activities, less uh, smaller seasons for the sports, et cetera. So at least like, this gives us a starting point anyway to try and figure out if we want to uh, recommend uh, for a fee. So uh, comments, thoughts? Correct. Because we had talked about maybe then giving the student a Correct. Which is, I, I think, almost impossible to tell. I mean, we have right. gate receipts, but we don't know what was right. parent, what was student. Um, well, this was, um, maybe you have a better number than me, but uh, gate sales were approximately 50,000. Does that sound, that sound about right? Okay. Uh, no, actually, this this came from uh, George, uh, from one of his one of the earlier meetings, <clears throat> in his in his projected uh, costs and uh, what we uh, for, and revenues. So he had gate sales of fifty thousand. The passes last year he had eighty one forty five coming in. So I don't, I don't know how you would take into account if you're going to give the student. Uh, I'm not sure how we would. In fact, I mean, you could take a take a guess. But uh, well, I'm just. I'm, I guess all I'm saying is we'll have to at least understand that that's going to be down some. Yeah. We don't know what it's going to be. Probably, probably somewhere to a third to a half. I would think. But. I, I also asked. I did ask Lauren to. Um, <coughs> for the finance committee, plug in uh, the numbers for uh, salaries, uniforms, um, into the budget for sports, athletics, all that, so. I know, I know, uh, Mrs. Reno, you have a comment, so. No, I don't know how I feel about the whole fee. I mean, I, of course, I would love for it to go away. <laughs> Well, okay, that's a, but, we'll, we'll say that's not going to happen. Right. right. So. <laughs> but at the same time, ARC's graduating seniors were the first ones that had to pay the fee. So everybody below them don't doesn't know any different. Right. So it's kind of a status quo, you know, a, that's the way it is. It's an, <coughs> Mr. McKnight, you're, you're good at pontificating. <laughs> and, uh, the, uh, <laughs> Well, the fee's exorbitant. I mean, compared to anywhere else in the state. I mean, two, Except Burst Catholic. 150, it's, it's even exorbitant for Burst Catholic. <laughs> but 150 and, and 75, and then if a student, and our kids, you know, some, it was interesting at the scholarship the other night, you saw, like, for example, um, Emily Shoring, and she has all those thousands of hours of service, literally over a thousand hours of service this year. And, you know, she paid to be in those clubs and, you know, and activities, and it's, I mean, I can't imagine what it cost her parents to, to do all the things that she did in this school. I, I, I probably should sit down and ask them, you know, what was your total end bill uh, to participate in things here in this school? Um, so, you know, it's, it goes against the, the just traditional, I, I think, conscience of public ed, but we're in a real time where there are real bills and, and you know, real financial struggles. So I think you see the $90 is kind of, um, about right, you know, with fees that are charged elsewhere. And I, I ran up by my wife this morning. I said, yeah, "What would you think about like?" I, I refer to this as the college model because you know you go to college, you get an you get a fee, yeah, activity oh, fee, and, uh, and you can yep. do everything at the school and all that. And you all know that. And she said, "You know, that it's not bad." And my wife's pretty reasonable, unlike me. Dave. She's pretty level-headed, <laughs> pretty reasonable personality. Um, she, and, and the two things she brought up, she said, um, "You know, what about the free and reduced kids?" And I said, "Well, I saw this document. There's a response for that." And then she goes, the other thing is, how, how do you collect it? Like, for the families, for kids that, who still don't yeah. engage it, yeah. how do you collect the money? And I said, well, the only thing I can imagine is that by the time they get to 12th grade, they have a fee, you know, they have an obligation, just like they all this week were collecting money. Um, you know, I was suspect it would play out that way, but. Yeah, well, what, what was our, um, do we ever uh, finalize what the technology 
as far as insurance goes? Did we ever I, don't, I don't know, you know, Lauren, if well, Scott gave it to you. The, 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 the reason I ask is that there's a fee for the insurance. That's also right. something that's going to have to get it collected, right? right? That's true. Because the kids are students are a year away. Yeah. So if you get one bill with your insurance for your computer and your your sports activity fee. I mean, it's really just like college. I mean, when you get yeah. that tuition bill, yeah. you have the technology fee, you have the activity fee. Um, you know, I'm, I'm inclined to, to make it an even, even 100 for high school and 75 for middle school. Yeah. People are going to you know, enjoy the relief. There's no question yeah. about those who are doing yeah. many, many things, which are about a third of our kids. It'd are be doing 450 to $500. There's right. going to be some who don't do anything, and of course they're going to be paying. Yeah. Right. Uh, but maybe that would incentivize their kids now to Correct. actually be more active. Right. That, that's right. I mean, and that's, that's what I would hope that. Because it's now been reduced, there's opportunity. We paid it already. Parents will start to push on the babysitter side of that model. Look, you, we paid, go, mm -hmm. um, and that's fine. We'll take them and we'll, we'll figure it out. So I think we'll get higher participation. Than I do. So, the, the, and then we got a uh, you know, Tamara, Tamara's feverishly fever, uh, calculating no, I, over here. And, right. um, uh, well, be, so be, did it that way because I broke down and I took out for you. I took out the three. I didn't take out the reduced. But you'd be looking well, at yeah. ninety-one thousand for um, high school, and if you did seventy-five, thirty-three thousand. So you're, you're roughly at one hundred and twenty. Yeah, the, the, we have we have we have forty forty reduced. We have to we have to say and we're going to how much we're going to collect tonight? Eighteen dollars and. Uh, and they'll be the hardest eighteen dollars to collect. Trust me, uh, it will be. I mean that that. So that might best be where we say we lump free and reduce all together and say. We're just all smiling, so I guess that's a affirmative from him. <laughs> well, yes, I mean, I, I was a parent of a kid who didn't really participate in much of anything. And Wait, Mr. Board. McKnight, you're, you're, uh, you're move. in and charge. Thanks. I don't know where it is. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Mr. Kershaw, that's the rest of the year. And I don't think I'd have explained too much if I got a bill of finance. Bucks. I mean, yeah. I might not have liked it. But I would, I mean, I wouldn't have, it wasn't going to be the end of the world. Now, I was at a different point when she was in elementary school, I and mean, if, if I was paying for something, I wasn't. Well, we're not, we're not charging elementary school right, kids, so, right. uh, so yes. I'm just saying, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's people whose kids are in still high school that are still at a, at a point in their life where they're challenged, but. Yeah. And I, I guess all right, you know, we also need to decide if we are going to give the student then free admission to all, all uh, games. That's. That's something that was brought up. I think this is advice like that. Uh, I mean, at least that way the people don't participate feel like they're getting something. I do, I, I do like that. I don't want to shoot down George's family plan, though, like the card. Well, he, he, had, he had suggested making the family plan then a reduced number. Uh, you know, I mean, the other option is you could make, I mean, we do dollar nights, you could make all. All games dollar. That's what I said to him today. I said, you know, maybe say, okay, if you buy a ticket, all students are a dollar. Because I think our student fees about three or four dollars now. So that's a substantial. Four. Okay, four. Yes. <laughs> six, six and four. Okay. It's always good to have people get a little skin in the game. Yeah. Or they start coming from three in. The yeah. They're dumping the kids the off, and you know, it's a big babysitting scene. A little skin. I think it should be if you have a pass and you're under seventh grade, it should be ten dollars. If you don't have a with you. Or 15. Or 15. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. It's rough. Oh that, that, that those football games are getting a little bad. For the babysitting. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. That's just for security. The cheapest babysitting, oh. cheapest dinner date you'll ever have. That's true. I like the dollar idea for students. Yeah, I like it. I like that. Or, or maybe you leave for all the younger students. It's still whatever it is now. But if you're in 7th through 12th grade, it's a dollar entry. And obviously, all our we have IDs starting. When they have all. They all have IDs now. Not really. They get the ones from the, the photograph company, but they don't wear. Like they don't have this. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think for our ticket takers. Is that going to be like a pain in the butt? And what? And yeah. will they be able to figure it out or no? They seem to be able to do it. I mean, when George, we run those dollar nights, and the kids from the other schools come and complain that they don't get it for a new buck. Only our kids. Play. Well, a lot of times, aren't the ticket takers? They know. Uh, well, a lot of times they, they do. Yes. Or whatever. Yeah, one's yeah. A, our secretary, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the guy yeah, we have a couple more secretaries. Nice one, sure. And captain. 
All right, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I mean, if, I'm words in people's mouths, but it sounds like 100 and then 75 free and reduced, uh, no charge, and a dollar for all students. Uh, entry, entry into games. And then we need to we would need to re reprice the family. I think Georgia's going to reprice the family plan. Uh, what, what do we what do we charge us here for that? I feel like it's twenty five dollars. Sorry, I feel like it was more than. No, it was more than. Was it? Yeah, it was more than. It was more than. Seventy five. Yeah, I want to say seventy five for like a family of four for the yeah. past. For the whole year. But I, I could have been a family of five. Said, but. Yeah. So. And when we still that. charge my sixth graders who do participate the seventy-five dollars, I think that would be fair. The ones who are in TSA and music. Um, well, then, then we need to. We, well, would, would we be able to track that efficiently? Well, I mean, the advisors are at, like currently yeah. are collecting that money from okay. kids, and they know who the sixth graders are that are in their programs. Okay. I mean, I don't know that it would be fair for. I mean. I understand why we're starting with seventh grade because of sports, because yep. my sixth graders can't play sports, but they can still participate in DSA and in music and things like that. So I don't think that that would be right that they just get to do it everything for free. Mm -hmm. Well, then do we charge them? Do they pay for those even? Now? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's that okay. $50 okay. activity fee. Yeah. I so thought someone they didn't pay. Or it. just leaving it at what it is. Or yeah. What, 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 so they pay the $50 activity fee? Is that what they, that, is that what they pay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, at least that's what I paid when they were in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think no, we, we keep keep keep, the, keep that for our, for it. Yeah, okay. So 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 sixth grade would be for fifty bucks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as monitoring, we can do by quarter, collection, or end of the year. Well, um, I, I, would, I would think we would uh, right now. Right now, for sports, we they your for your fall sport, you go out and it's, it's due by first day, first day of the season or something. Yeah, I, I think it's actually due by the first con competition. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they work yeah, through to that, that first, yeah. mm -hmm. And then they do that again in the, in the winter. So yeah, you do, so you do it by season, I think. If we do it do it once, we should probably send it out before the school year starts right. and have it due the first first week of school. So if the uh, if the board's okay with this, is this something we can get it in place and out by? Uh, Put it on the calendar. No, no problem getting it in place and in, in, in effect by uh, fall. I think we'll make a conscious effort to brand the message, whatever right, it finally right. is. Like there, there should be a launch about this. Right. Because you take a lot of black eyes when you go the other way and you just roll it out. And here's a chance to say that we've done something, we, you know, has worked for the district, and, and the district's still okay with it and financially, and we think it's a more user friendly piece and more community centered model and you know, the whole branding model. When do we know that those PR types stuff? I'm sorry? <laughs> I was just wondering who we knew that might be in the audience oh. that helps oh. craft PR type stuff. <laughs> they do it off the board. <laughs> he, he's probably looking for uh, for payment. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I, I I like the idea. I mean, then we but it's not wait all summer. Let's get it no, no, no. get it done. Say yeah. rather than wait till August. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we, right. we should craft some type of. Press release. Press release. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you get it done in June yeah. because then families would know through July because we're yeah. not going to get together in July. And then we come back in August to it. Okay. Because we start advertising all of our back to school stuff in July, like right. supply right. list, here's this stuff, here's that stuff. It would just be good to get that out there. At the well, same given, time. And, and given when the teams start doing things, right. it, it may be before we even have August. voting meetings. Mm -hmm. So it's the second week of August. That's right. PIAA yeah. 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 start. Right. So we definitely have to do it this way. Mm -hmm. have, have we. Um, Maybe I'll uh, put this to uh, Kathleen. Uh, 
so that you're up on the have we uh, looked at uh, maybe accepting uh, credit cards? I have gotten cost <coughs> credit card machine, and it's one of those that you can put it up online. It is more expensive than the PayPal. We're currently using PayPal for the Blazer program that okay. all the parents are paying for that. We could actually get a machine in there. It's a little bit more pricier, and then just switch everything to that. Or, or offer PayPal as an option then for everybody instead. Absolutely. They can all go because we have the link on the website. Um, I forget. Um, Scott Matt's put it out there. So anybody that's going in, I have not personally gone to look at the Blazer thing, but when you go into the Blazer program on the website, there's a link for PayPal. And it, it will, um, I, I, sorry, I haven't used PayPal, PayPal. Um, but uh, you can, we can, will everybody have like their own account number and they pay? You have the, I have my own, like PayPal when I use Right, 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 right. But, but so how, how does the school know who the will name be the comes name? through? Yeah. I get, I get emails like, every day. If Kathleen okay. sent me one, it would say, or if I sent her one, it would say $100 received from Laurel right now. Okay. And that's exactly, it's coming through every day an email. I'm getting one like mm -hmm. somebody just mm -hmm. paid just, I just yeah, you can use a credit card. It gives the name of the person. Yep. Okay. going to have to determine who well, the parent is. I'm not no, sure, no, but no. I know it comes through. And I know there's still that fee. So I forget well, right. What I right, but it's just less, less, less than what a it's credit card than processing is. I actually is. got the credit card machine. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I hesitated yeah. on getting yeah. it. Yeah. What's the credit card like, 2%? Credit card. Three? Although that's and not then what you're, you got yeah. 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 There was other fees yeah. tacked on. It is three yeah. percent for PayPal. Yeah. We need to be. Oh, it's, it's a little bit no, more for the credit card machine. Something. It's just over three percent for the credit card machine. No, but I don't have to pay any fees for the machine right. or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, they might as well stick with PayPal. At least they have an option to. And we can put it up on the website in a different area. We just tell Scott to put it up to where when they go on the website and just advertise it that anybody paying an activity fee can go in there. And you can probably accept. I mean, this that's, it's a philosophical issue, but you can probably even with PayPal, the school could eat the fee. But the question is, do you want to? I mean, I mean when. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. when we take utility payments or you know permit fees, or there's an option that you can either you know charge the end user or you can eat it as the organization, and that's yeah. Well, is it, is it uh, a, a lot easier for you to that's to do a PayPal than get a check? Yeah, it's like, well, it's kind of like whatever you do, isn't it? Because it's just a journal entry or it's a process of the other thing. So it doesn't bother me any. It's more of a convenience factor for the the parent. I think if we were in a situation where it automatically posts, like if, you know, if it was like it was utility something payments or somewhere yeah. it merged into this accounting system and took that way work, then it might make sense. But I've got to go on the PayPal case, account. I've got to make sure that I print the whole list of names, make sure I give right. that to Kathy Shutt so she can, whatever she has to do, and then I have to do the journal entry. Okay, so, so we'll leave, leave way, it as is. It's not, All right. It doesn't save us time. It's no, it's definitely not right. saving me any time. It's just a convenience factor for them. And it's not not like uh, we'll actually people will actually spend more. <laughs> it's, a, right. it's, a, it's a flat fee. It's not like we're. <laughs> I'll spend more because it's a credit card. I don't, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds like we have a recommendation for that then. Uh, anything? Any other loose ends that anybody can think about? Any any public comment? I'm good. <laughs> I, I have for a now. question that might be, a little, it might, it might be a little off topic for this group, but it's coming up. And I know we sort of discussed this. And I just, so what we kind of found out through this is that we have stipends for people with the band that are helping out. And I don't necessarily have an issue with that, but I know a couple of years back, I think we found out people were paying assistant coaches and stuff too through mm -hmm. fundraising. And I guess, question is, is it the same type thing? Should that be running through the school? Should it not? Are there still coaching positions or assistant coaching or, you know, are, are they still, are, is that still happening? Well, I mean, as, as far as, as far as we know, uh, in the coaching spot, the volunteers are not supposed to get paid. Uh, you know, I, I, I probably will say that, 
I would I would venture to guess that probably uh, end of year they might get a gift gift certificate from uh, from the the parents. Would be my guess. And some uh, probably a good number. I of do instances. know um, yeah. any volunteer that gets whether you want to call it paid a thank you whatever they are told it is not to go over five hundred dollars yeah, because of the W nine. No, I, I, th I mean, I've seen like the $50 right. hour gift and card. And I think there's been some, uh, there were there were two several years ago that did it. There might be one that is still giving a token to an assistant, but it doesn't go over. Does that come out of mandatory fundraising? There's no mandatory then? fundraising. Nobody is forced to fundraise. Okay. Okay. They, they are told. That is something that they because we found out there was um, an athletic team that was doing a buyout. You can just write a check to us and then you don't have to do any fundraising. Well, that's mandatory fundraising then. So they were told they can't do that. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. But that back to your question about the stipends for the I music. Mean, I, yeah. I don't know. Are they contracted the stipends for the music, uh, so the students? The boosters the contract the ones that we pay. Booster contract. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that would, there, if there was ever an issue, it would be with the booster organization, not the district, correct? So they got hurt, or they got, they're not coming after us. I mean, they're still going to come after us. Well, that's, that's in our contract. It says they have to obtain their own medical insurance. Okay. Um, we get they're all obligated to know our policies and perform to our policies. Correct. So sure that's in that, that. Right. That's 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 thing yeah. also. And did they, 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 they come before the board to be approved? Is that? Small yeah. The liability on the school with the boosters volunteers working with our children. Mm -hmm. It is our responsibility. And what about the confirmant then that um, there are employees and whether we should be picking out their fight and stuff? Have you heard about that? Well, in order to take out a fight, they have to be hired. Right, but if they're, they're not, if they're not, they're not, if they're not that contract with the booster organization, it's inferred, like. Can you do a double check, but if they're hired by, your, you have, you're a 501 and 3 you have your own federal ID number. Yes. Providing so, services to our children. Right, but they're still. If you. If you uh, exceed the $600 threshold, you must be issued with W9. As your own federal ID, you're writing to check that our blanket liability covers all the sponsored things. So then, how, what are we approving then? It's just says volunteers. Volunteers? Well, I mean, our, our, the volunteer coaches are covered by us too, the sports coaches. I think we should get our solicitor. Right, but they're also not getting. I just, right. I don't. I just want. I, I just want to. You know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of. Uh, are, you, are you thinking like a workers' comp situation? Is that yeah. what you're? Uh... Mm -hmm. I saw legal opinion on that. Or, you know, I don't know. Who's the boss in the gets in an accident? Right. You know. Right. What about the solicitors getting the solicitor's opinion? I mean, I, and I, it, it's not that I'm against. I don't want to stop it. I just want to make sure that if we're doing it the way we should be doing it, if that's and that's all. I, and that somebody else doesn't come back and say, "Well, they do it. Why can't we do it as a sports team or whatever?" Well, they're doing it, so why can't we do it? Do you, uh, do you recall what the total number of, um, I think I have it here, but um, we were going to add back 11 coaches? It was no, 11. 11. Okay. Are we going to be able to find uh, I think we have coaches? people there now that are doing right, you know, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Voluntarily speaking, yeah. people will be able to step forward and kind of be rewarded for what they've done. Okay. It's already in the budget. Well, that's, I, I, I don't that's, know. Uh, it's always been yeah. positioned, so that's already been in the, in the Association's contract. So no, I, I asked I asked Mr. Small to add it to the budget yeah. from night, so that everybody could see what that is. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so um, fundraising uh, parameters, we could, we could nail that down. Um, I, I did have one, uh, a concerned citizen call me because her, uh, her child was concerned that you know, they do a lot of these little fundraisers, and if we're gonna limit the number of fundraisers. Uh, I, think one, I think they do um, a couple of the snack bar. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they might run their own snack bar like during their games or whatever. They, no, they, they do it the one where, like, during basketball season, which is shared by multiple mm -hmm. clubs, mm -hmm. I believe. Right. So I think that, they, you know, what do they make a night, maybe? Uh, they earn a share, and at the end of the year, share, they, yeah. the share is worth so much. Yeah, so they were concerned that, well, if they only can do a couple fundraisers, that one does not generate much money. So they, you know... They were concerned that they were stuck doing that one, or they they stopped doing that one, and you know, focusing on something else. So, um, so that was that was a concern that was brought, brought up to me. I'd like. So. I know the concern is because I, I'm not sure if it's just athletics seems to do a lot of fundraisers, the individual teams, things like that. But if the budget that Mr. Schmidt put forward, which takes the burden off the athletes to raise the money to pay for things for their sports they won't be doing the fundraisers right so i'd like to maybe even wait and see one if the budget gets passed two let's give it a year to see because it may just have a natural evolution of stopping all the fundraisers go through the athletic department for approval and then i think mr mcknight has to sign off on all of them so You've got administrators looking at what's coming through. I would hate to say we're putting it, every athletic team can only do two fundraisers a year. And then you find out, okay, well they did two, but they only raised 200, but they needed to raise X amount because they had a specific goal. And if we're gonna make the athletic teams only fundraise X amount, of, they can not fundraise over X amount of times, is it fair for other student activities to be able to not have the same limitations? So then should yeah. it be across the board to every student activity? Yeah, but yeah, my, my thought is, you know, the basketball season only runs X to X, mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. the French club is, is all year long. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, you know you're in, if you're in the French club, you know you're in, the, in it for the, the entire year. So if you have a fundraiser in September and then one in, mm -hmm. But the basketball team, you know, it's like, okay, they're raising funds in August, you know, for beginning, that you know, their season doesn't start till. But uh, on the flip right. side, basketball was raising money to purchase $6,000 worth of uniforms. Right. The French club doesn't have to spend $6,000 on uniforms. I think one of the big things about moving this, though, is that we, I, I'm, thank God my son's a senior now and the other one's gone, but I'm so sick and tired of fundraisers. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's just how much you're, you're always being hammered with this stuff. To me, if you said to an organization that you get two major fundraisers, okay, you, you figure out what they are for organization, people will become more attentive yeah. to hitting really meaningful yeah. fundraisers. Well, right. it's yeah. not and so right. you'll, you'll get bigger profit-driven fundraisers. And I, I would think that if we kicked it around a little bit, we said, okay, two majors, and then incidental fundraisers, you know, won't be penalized like, like the concessions. I don't, yeah, things, it would I don't hold that would be held against you. Right. Now, I, I, I have I, to tell I, you, I've yeah. been curious as to why we do our fundraiser in the winter like we do, but the fall concession stand is not done that way. And so That's to right, me, yeah. why we would have the clubs doing it is odd to me. Like it, this should be something that could be driven back to. No, my, my wife had, had to specifically yeah. ask for a couple nights for the basketball team. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, so. But volleyball, volleyball does it itself. Right. Yeah, I just don't understand the model we have going there, but um, I, I think it would be certainly appropriate to say two major fundraisers, um, and we work through the issues. You know, and then a way for exceptions, of course, for right. season play or extended or, you know. Someone, and if someone, for period. example, let's, let's say those guys want to go to Florida one year or whatever, and you come forward and say, look, we have a big, it's not an every year, it's a special event kind of fundraiser, mm -hmm. and they bring mm -hmm. it forward and mm -hmm. kind of look at Can it. Can we have a third one? Yeah, yeah I, I like that It one. brings more examination to what we're doing. Instead of having the pretzel and sale one week followed by the wah sale the yeah, next yeah. week followed by the candy bar sale the next we week followed by the... $5 with this one, let's sell candy bars and make them $13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd, be, what, they'd be way more selective. And then I think there'd, there'd be more... For music, I mean... I, I think there'd be, be more opportunity for you, for you guys, too. Uh, you know, as they far have a band, band, they have, band. Band. Yeah. you know, chorus, you have middle school band, so they each could do 
a few, you know, they could break it out that way. Right, I mean, that's the same to that's me, Tony, as you guys are the overriding music group. They're the overriding athletic group, each team can still do two fundraisers. Each ensemble can still do two fundraisers right, right. for themselves. And right. they would be, I think they would it's be okay. It's the same kids in some extent. But currently, the music so boosters, extent, you know, it all goes to the music department. So whatever it is, if it's selling mattresses or selling candy bars mm -hmm. or popcorn, it goes towards the music department from K through 12. Mm -hmm. um, if you have to break it down into jazz band or mm -hmm. symphonic band, marching band, mm -hmm. Choir. Should they um, get it for their direct benefit? Yeah. Well, can they can you base it on? And I don't I, say there's six different band sections or whatever groups. So music boosters can do twelve. I, I don't know. I'm just trying. To, I, so you don't necessarily have to. Bring and that's it how down. I'm. Mm -hmm. if, if that's By, on because side. on the sports side, mm -hmm. you have yeah, so all your sports. Right. Well, I think there's if you break it down to middle school, high school, boys, girls, there's like 24. Oh, we were talking about two different things, though. We got music. Boosters. Yes, and parents. We, we're not limiting parents as opposed to fundraising, which is children. Let's be clear on the definitions, right? Well, no, because like no, because when sports boosters fun. when sports boosters does a fundraiser, that's parents. Right. That's but the if the boys' soccer to. team has a fundraiser. That's the boys' soccer. Right. right. And those funds and those, raised, those are completely separate things. Raised by students, used but, for students. But, that but, right. But music is booster music, music is done is, different than all, we are. Right. All to music. So no so matter what group is selling what, it's all going to music. You can't do that. Actually, music. you can't do that. You can't have the students raising funds and then giving it to the mother booster group. Right, Mr. Small? I learned that from you. And student activity. It's student activity money has to be used by those students that year. You can't put it into a booster group, a parent led group. Well, what what defines student raised? But it's there. It's the no, because it's the music booster fundraiser. Then it should. It's not the it's jazz not the band it's fundraiser. It's symphonic band. It's not the marching band. It's the music booster. Everything is a music booster fundraiser. So you know the money's going to music right, booster. The booster fundraisers have to be or parent led by definition. Or right, fundraisers are student led. So now, right, so they're well, getting exactly that's fine. That's what saying. I'm not sure if that's what we're saying. Well, we don't do any student driven, like, I guess, student driven funds cannot be fed to the booster, mother booster group. Now, we do have some, if they sell Yankee candles, they get but that their goes into their, into, their, into their student accounts. Right, because they, they each, student each, has, each their has their account own account. For like that trip to Canada, they use it for, right? Yes. Yeah, so that, that's actually segregated by student. So My student. If you sell 100, it's all yours. If you sell zero. Kid, or if that kid sold 10 and that one sold 20, it all went towards his account, towards that Canada trip. Does that, does that work? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That year. Thank you, thank you. You held over a bank towards a big project. Even if it's yeah, for that kid specifically? Right. So you can't buy a, you can't do improvement on the stadium. So, right, so, but yeah. if the kid, no, but it can, it can be that, carried over yeah, for graduate. improvements or to be spent on that activity. On that truck. So if, if my kid raises $600 this year, they can spend it this year or next year. Or you're saying it's supposed to be spent within the same year. At the end of the year, those funds are either supposed to be like, because for, for that Canada trip, you were saving for last year. Last year, 2017. They saved for last year. They have to take yeah, their funds that are left over and donate it to another fund. Well, right, that. but I'm just saying, if, if, if they're towards the individual child, and the child's in high school for four years, and I don't know, say the trip in their freshman year is 500 bucks, but they raised 700, they can't use that next $200 for the next year's trip? No, not for the definition. That's creative. <laughs> but that's, 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 that's through the ridiculous. school district. Yeah. That's if the school district's holding the money. Music Boosters is holding their money. Right. That's different. So it's different. It, but the kids can't give money to the Music Boosters. The kids can't fundraise and they give the money to the music boosters. They're not parent doing that. organization. It's, in their, it's marked in their it's marked in their They're, individual accounts. The money is raised. Fine whether it's through them. them. It's fine yeah. to me if it's fine. It sounds like that. It's sucks. not going through the district. Those fundraisers that the music booster does doesn't go through the district. At all. But it has to. If 
the kids are raising the money. We talked about this. If the you're, that's raising, too, you're you and I so, are talking. You okay, and I's conversation okay. is not the same as this conversation. So we are talking about the parents raising the parents, yes. running that fundraiser, running the fundraiser. And giving it to the boosters to help for their kids' account. Yes. Right. yes. As long as the kids are not selling yes. cookies. What you are then I'm, that's, you're confusing our conversation and the conversation I had with Kathleen with how music boosters operates, and they operate differently. Okay. Yeah. And that's fine. So as long as the parent led or fundraisers yeah. that feed the mother, the mother group and the mother keeps an accounting. The we keep the accounting on each child. kid. So, so to circle back to the issue, I think, though, is that since only boosters do fundraisers and not the individual they don't even groups, them. if you're limited to two, that's just two for the entire across the board. That would be two for the entire community yes. department. So we need a solution to that. Is what I think we is what we're yes. <laughs> okay. And at the same token, then you would also be limiting like PTC to two. So you could do it in a way that it doesn't apply to support organizations. Supporting, yeah. Um, I yeah, I think I think I, I think that's. So I mean, don't you think all the I think that's a pretty good solution. Side, yeah. Though, with with the budget picking up some of the some of these coaches, that's going to soften it. That. Well, the, the, well, actually, more, more so the uniforms. The uniforms, the uniforms is what, is what so driving it. So much. I, I don't know if we need to dress fully and get into Yeah, that, right. that's where I'd like so, to see. Okay. Like, in, a year, to your, in a yeah. year, come okay. back and say, how, okay, what was fundraising like now that the teams didn't have to fundraise for these I'm expenses? Okay with that, actually. Like, how Let's how many see what that's actually. Idea. Because I'll tell you, as a parent, 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 as a no. You know. And those are all being done because it's we need to raise the money every single year because in three years we need to spend five on uniforms. Like it's back into the budget. See, honestly, there's this candy bar, then, like the candy bar fund rate, like that's just, I got, you want to sell me a candy bar for a buck, two bucks, I'll, I'm fine. I hate like the, <laughs> the wrapping first. paper for $23. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'll buy candy bars all day long because I'll eat them. And that's great. <laughs> And that there might we be go. for a fundraiser because of that popularity. <laughs> right, and it's, it's, it's a buck, or it's, it's two bucks. It's not $25 and something I'm not going to use. I'm, I can I'm spend a, $4 at the store for it. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine if we, we wait I and mean, put a little more pressure on administration to if something comes through and looks a little, you know, I mean, in the past, I think you guys are just pretty much saying, okay, we, we know we need the fundraise. Yeah. I'll just uh, sign every one of them. I never say no. Mm -hmm. And there was no given the fact that there was so much money to raise. Can we start the transition? Do a little heads up. Okay, in the future we're probably going to be limiting fundraising. Can we be, yeah, start to be more selective, sort of informal? If it's a fundraising question, yes. <laughs> no, we have not. Well, so I, I mean, is is sports boosters for next season eliminating all these boards now that are that were established? Well, we uh, discussed this, and I don't know. Did Kathy get back to you? I yep. email there. I right, to I was going to follow. Sit down, but it is yeah. the Exeter model we found out. Well, and, and I was going to follow was... through with Kathy because oh, I okay. wanted her to be comfortable. Kathy, shut. Would you shut up? Oh, oh, I, oh. I, yeah. You're I'm fine. All, I'm all good. Yeah. I'm oh, like, yeah. She likes the plan. Yeah. I'm they did it at Exeter. Yeah, they did it at Exeter. So, so I have no issues. Where all the student activity. I, yeah, all the individual team accounts will come over to the district. Become student activities, just like French Club and Key Club and all of that. And then that way, that money is done through there, and then we're just the parent organization. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, and okay. I, honestly, from a comfort standpoint, I'm good with it. Just give me the information. Yeah, I just want to make sure Kathy. What do you good, need so. from Kathy? What, what that's to it? manage it. That's what. No, yeah. I'm managing, that's what I'm it. Right. I'm managing but it. So she'll right. be the go she'll person the, that will the, be sending it on. Uh -huh. So she needs to be able to answer some questions. Right. We need she will be the person, which is fine. But I still need the. Not 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 being mean or anything, but I'm running out of time. I really yeah. need to set up by seven one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I need the account structure so I can set that. Yes. Time. And I need to send you the list that, of all yeah, of that. If yeah. I can get that started, would, yeah. eventually we'll have Kathy over. We'll all sit down and we'll talk about okay. it, and I'll make sure she understands. I would like the committee to make that recommendation pending business office approval. So go ahead and move that. And transfer all the accounts back to the school. Yeah. Pending their final approval. Their preliminary approval. Hey Dave, on one note, um, going back to the fees, I just, when you said the 83 students in the van, how are we handling the 8th grade students who are in March in the because obviously the kids who are in period 1, curriculum or not, they don't have the fee in the curriculum, but the students who are in 8th grade, 
Um, and what, what number is that? About? It's, it's, a, it's a nice number. 15. 15? Yeah, 15 or 20 students, which is, 20. you know, 20% of the band or so. Um, I mean, they would not be in a curriculum and would not be eligible to have a fee waived, so to speak, as not being in the curriculum because they're, they're down below. Um, um, just, what's, what's, I think, what's, I, I think uh, we've got to deal with the issue. Because what, what's, what's the question? I'm sorry. The, the, question is, well, the question is, what do we do about the fee for the eighth grade students who are in marching band? So you're saying the 75 is not, not, is not good? high school will be paying. The high school will be paying any fee because they're event. now in the curriculum. Yeah, they no, should. Well, they're, they're paying 100 bucks. They're paying 100 bucks, right? All right. Okay. So if you might Thank you. There you go. That's what I was saying. What's the question? Thank you. There you go. Now we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we don't, well, no, but, but if we don't change that, then it will the be. Here's the question: What if you're playing? You're a middle school kid doing a high school activity. Hmm. How much of that do we have? Well, we know twenty. <laughs> so that, that would be the other one. Like, in yeah, the old I days, mean, I, I, ninth I, graders I, down at junior highs. That was a bigger issue. I would just say, like, let it be. Just let it go. Yeah, I mean, uh, making making more trouble than we need for ourselves. Yeah, just, yeah. If it was two hundred. Yeah, every question that we thought of, we're going to get six more that we didn't think of. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, uh, uh, you know, one other area which which we really haven't, uh, or actually one sp specific area which I know a couple of folks I talked to, is do, do we have a handle on what cheerleading is doing? Because they were our, our big outlier as far as. Uh, well, the handle will come on when you finally, as a collective group, make a decision about where we're going with fundraisers. Because their issue specifically is the fundraising. They fundraise more. Fundraisers. You don't have to tell me. I, I know what I'm sharing for the <laughs> group and, and for the tape. They have more fundraisers in, uh, in volume and in, in dollar amount than uh, anybody else. And they take many trips. And you're you're getting into um, a good a good question. Do we modify the number of trips that or a group can take in a four year span? But there has to be a lot more. So I don't know. That this is the last meeting of this group. But there are probably many more things to look at over time, and what's the best interest of students, and how many trips, and is it every year, is it, you know, what's the distance, all that, those kind of things yeah. probably could be looking I mean, it come, probably equates to the, the band. I mean, do you guys take a big trip every year? I don't, I don't recall that. I mean, that Canada one was no. kind of... That's I think it's every, every other year. year. Every two years, every year. Every two yeah. years it's a big, trip. And that's a band trip, Yeah. Um, not a marching band. Yeah. I also think we have to look at really the life, and that fundraising. It's not really affiliated with the school. You know what, I've had, I work in the school. Not, 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 not really. I mean, it, it's a student-driven one for sure, but it's an outside group. I mean, oh, I, know. It, I, I know you know, but I mean, it's, it's not really. But there is a fundraising, that's not what I heard. I, heard not really, I, mean, I, I think that they, they, they'll do the like occasional really thing in the cafeteria. Their fundraising in the school is minimal. It's minimal. I mean, they do some things. Don't they put stuff out in the hallway outside the shows and stuff? The, the, so if they sell the dollar, but that didn't happen this year. We didn't have the dollar, oh. like, Memorial piece this year. That has happened. That was two years ago, they had that. Uh huh. So, Is that something you made conscious efforts? No, no. They, they, it depends. Well, I got to. I really don't shut them down right now because I think we're in such a flux mm -hmm. about how we're funding things that I don't feel in good conscience. You can, you know, so now, can as, as long as sort of I, I check them if they're ethical or not. You know, if they're if the things kids should be involved in. But outside of that, because they have to drive their own funds for many things in, in the building, many you know, we weren't supporting a lot. Um, so. I've, I've pretty much looked at it. So let's see where it flushes out in the conscience, you know. And yeah. going back to your cheerleading, the fact if these accounts are going back into the district to become student activity accounts, there's going to be more knowledge of what cheerleading, middle school cheerleading spends just as much as high school cheerleading, what they're doing. Right now, it's going through their boosters. Right. So other than two years worth of budgets that have been turned in. What, what's going to be kind of interesting to me is, I mean, and, and the, the uniform cost uh, that I had to pay over the years. Uh, and I mean, there was like, you had to buy something every year. So if we're, we're, the uniform is down the budget and it's a, it's, it's a five, year, five year cycle, right? For, uh, mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see how that's the, uh, well, then their fundraising would just be... You like glee on your face. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like, you know, we got a brand new uniform, and then all of a sudden the coaches said, well, that's not, like, like the band uniform. You know, well, that, that's, not, that's not the latest. we got to have the latest, latest fashion. So we got to get a completely whole new uniform. And it's like, 
well, we, I just bought the EO for last year. Well, and it's a t-shirt for every single event. But are they prevented from doing that? No. See, if we don't, if, right. So even though you're putting the uniforms in the budget, if you don't have a policy that says they can only fundraise twice a year, they can only just, they're just, they're going to do what they want to do anyway. I, I mean, it kind of sounds like, I mean, I it sounds like. Right now it's like the Wild West. I mean, it's you think, a little bit yeah. like the Wild West. Right? Are they buying new uniforms, you think, every couple of years, too? That yeah, would no. drive yeah. most of them. Yeah. And that's, From what I understand, and then it's, they, they get to the, Florida. They buy their uniform. This is from what I've heard, and Dave, you correct me if I'm wrong. They get their shell. And then they have to get a body liner. And body then liner. it's, oh, you need a different body liner. Uh, oh, you need these tennis shoes. You need, oh, you yeah, need yeah, these shoes, shoes for outside. These, these shoes, shoes for competition. For these shoes for socks. Yeah, body oh, socks, socks. Now and you need to buy a warm up. And then, oh, we're doing warm ups a and then the, ra the rain, the rain jacket. We're yeah. doing yeah. a cheer for this. We need a different t shirt. Is it completely unreasonable to limit them to maybe four because it's a year round thing or six? Like, can we ask them? It's two sports. So, it's. Varsity cheerleading and there's competition cheerleading, so there are four. Oh, really? And and technically there's football cheerleading and basketball cheerleading and, and wrestling and cheerleading. Wrestling like cheerleading if you look at the list, soccer. To be consistent, could they could should they all come on um, on board to the student activity accounts? Oh, they are. Cheerleading is coming on. They're coming on. Oh yeah. They're all part of it. They are. Uh, yeah, they're part of it. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm just curious to see how it how it actually <laughs> fleshes <laughs> out. Uh, Cheerleading is about so half, half of it. Cheerleading is about half of it. Yeah, so Across you'll see district. it coming through. That's, that's what I want. Consistency. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, uh, on, honestly, it's the cheerleading is almost, uh, almost discriminatory because if you can't, if you can't afford it, you can't. Yeah, you can't do it. That's the problem I have with it is, especially for the competition cheerleading. You could have a student that wants to be in competition, that wants to do that, but can't afford to do it because it's outrageous. But that, guys, that's the same thing with a kid who, you know, it's all about what your level of means are. If you're a poor family and you can't afford the 150 to get in the door in the first court, it's the same, it's the same model. Mm -hmm. right. it's, it's just this it's, takes it up even It, it does, level. but people who are doing it tend to be up you yeah. know, in there a little more too, but it's the same concept. It's discriminatory. Sure. <laughs> it's it's anti-poverty. So, so we're saying we're going to see what happens there. Is that well? No, what I would say is once you can make a commitment on the number of fundraisers, okay, okay for a group, then we can enforce it. Um, and what I would also throw out for our consideration is, you know, is it best to say okay, one major in season, one major out of season, or one major beginning of season, mid? You know, you have to kind of look at what because, yeah, what because the, the other the other which you, which you missed was the camp in the summertime. Had to had to go go to go to cheer well, camp. Well, if you well, didn't go to cheer, like still stuck. Right? If you didn't go to cheer camp, <laughs> that was a, that was a that was a, a, a black mark against you because then you you know oh, yeah. Yeah, it, was it was like middle school well, just paid for cheer camp. Four thousand dollars. You had the same. You had the same thing. Maybe four thousand dollars to go to cheer camp. Maybe not as expensive. Maybe we're getting four thousand. Okay. All right. Sorry. We do. But what we would like you to do is see if you whatever recommendations we make, give us the parameters, then we can put the management model together. So if you say it's one out of season, one in season, or whatever it is, then we build the master schedule and we look at all the fundraisers that are, are happening. Because the other thing is they overlap. I mean, like I said, children's all year, they're constantly raising. And they're stepping on other people's opportunities mm -hmm. to raise too. Because a community can only sustain so much fundraising. It's just after a while saturation. I think we should informally start limit it the next year and let everybody know we think two is coming. So start to think about how you're going to live within that. Well, r rumor, means. rumor. Maybe coming maybe somewhere down over that side of the, the, uh, that they might not go to Disney next year. Is that? I've been told they are not going to Disney not. next year. Okay. Yeah. And that it might be coming every other. That might be yes. the rumor part, but I have heard definitely they're not going next year. Okay. That that's a big nut. That's that's yeah. So okay. All right. Um, that's what I have. Anything else? All good. Okay. Meeting meeting adjourned.